Look at that. Ithaca is gorgeous. We got all this nice shale. Non-metamorphous shale. The Devonian shale. And another species, another native uh, North American species of impatience. Uh, impatience palata. It's wild. I wasn't even aware of this. And everybody knows Capensis. Everyone, you know, Capensis gets all the fame. But then you got this one too. You got palata. And again, they're protandrous. That anther cap right there later falls off once it's done. You know, once it's the male face is done. And then right there you get a stigma and it becomes receptive. But that's a fucking large flower. So I'm guessing, you know, pretty big ass bees got to get in there. And that's cool. Why are more people not growing this? This is an understory plant, whereas, you know, uh, Capensis takes more disturbance and can. Uh, Growing full sun, but this really likes really likes it in those uh, shady understories. Nice. Yeah, there's. Look at that. So you can see that ovary maturing. So okay, that that anther cap already fell off. This thing already got pollinated. These uh, this whole flower will fall off, and then that fruit right there will elongate and mature into one of these, and then they're explosively dehiscent as well. So they pop. And you said this this that it's not just an urban legend about the remedy for ass rash thing about this. This really is good for poison ivy. Yeah. Wow. The mucilage. Mucilage. Yeah. That's the mucilage question. Nice. Snot in plants. <laughs> Where do we get <laughs> snot in plants? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you filthy fuck. Yeah, you like surfing flies? Oh, uh, yeah. How, what would his voice sound like if he could talk? Yeah, you nasty fuck. Look at that. Yeah, you get in there. What are you doing? Look at poking that stuff. Did you get that? You get that anther off that anther cap. Oh, you're so nasty. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's right. Come here. Why'd you come here? Move the pizzas off the bed. Sit down for a minute. Yeah, sit down next to me. Yeah, right, we're gonna watch cable TV. Look at that. Same population, impatience palatal, but this guy, this guy's got, you see the tube underground is there nice? This this has got a yellow phenotype. So you got variation. They're phenotypically plastic come with these. I got fucking mosquitoes. I mean, I gotta get out of here. It's bum, bum me out. It's real nice though. I could narrate that fly's life for the rest of uh, the rest of my evening. Oh yeah. Come here. Hey, you like Rita's digest, you filthy fuck? I'll read to you. Come here, sit down next to me. Sit on my lap, huh? Yeah, here we got witch hazel. You got those are the fruits. You got those little. It's like a little fuzzy capsule. Yeah, yeah, very weird structure to it too. You could see those. Suppose those are the petals recurving, and then you've got the buds because it's a winter flower, a winter bloomer right there. So they'll be going off in like another month or two. Very bizarre. It's stringent. In saxifragales, the order. Okay, so here we are in an understory of uh, a forest in Ithaca, New York. We got Solidago flexicollis. See, the zigzag golden rod, because it gets these little, as you can see here, it's a subtle, but it's a little bend in that, uh, that, uh, that stem. But what's notable about these, as I'm told by my friend Andre over here, and we were just talking about it, uh, is that it, it starts, uh, he says it only it starts emitting scent at night. And it is a pungent scent now, which is notable. And it, it does kind of smell like piss. It does. But, but we have to be specific. It smells like piss on concrete right would you say kind of like a urine on concrete smell because it, that's got its own distinct so like the subway but it's also still mildly fragrant and aromatic but what gets me is look how exerted those uh styles are i wonder if it's moth pollinated producing scent at night and and, and very prominently exerted styles i mean that is not for a bee to crawl around on it makes me wonder is this moth or maybe even butterfly pollinated i wonder Look at this guy. Look at this. You can tell this is this is probably not intended to be dispersed by mammals. For probably birds? for birds. This is, this is what probably for mean. birds. That thing. It's a uh, Actea pacapota ranunculaceae. And uh, even when I when I found out the family it was in, I was like, oh, this thing's probably toxic as hell. And sure enough, it is. But very beautiful. Leaves are gone, and the flowers are just these little white shits uh when they're going off but this thing is basically done and just waiting to get waiting to get the uh, gobbled up actia peccapota here in an understory of beautiful ithaca new york haven't been banned yet look at that solid doggo bicolor a white flowered goldenrod it's growing in the understory looks so different and this is a striped maple look at that what's the species on this ace or what do you know um, god fucking bark god damn it we don't know, but oh, really, Pennsylvania? Okay, I'll, I'll check it. But either way, this is a, and he's telling me this is big as they get. It's generally an understory plant, but that is a fucking gorgeous maple, man. Look at it. You know you're out east when you start seeing the maples.